Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com. I hope everyone is happy, healthy, and safe in November 2020. We got Thanksgiving coming up next week, and everyone should be happy and healthy. Go see some family. Go drive your dub and escape a little bit and go out and play. <laughs> uh, in this video, I got two things I want to discuss with you. Remember a couple weeks ago, I did a video on the seven reasons why your, your Volkswagen maybe falls on its face or falls or chokes a little bit on acceleration. Well, there was a tip I... I left out by accident <laughs> and uh, my good man Lucky Larry reminded me of that yesterday so I'm going to discuss that with you and I also want to discuss with you uh, CIP1 has teamed up with BBT out of Belgium and they got some really cool stuff that they're offering now on their website. Let's get to it. So guys before we get started take a look at this. These are keychains of vintage Volkswagen steering wheels. Take a look at the detail here. And they even come with a little sheet that you can select your own horn button. How cool is that? I mean, this is vintage Petri steering wheels, bus, okay, vintage split window or standard beetle. I mean, batwing wheels, really, really cool. The detail is awesome. Nice little accessory to dangle on your key. Uh, while you're driving your Volkswagen and who of course sent us these to take a look at and that is Kaffir Lab. KaffirLab.com guys, awesome VW parts and accessories and they have generously given us these to look over and have a small contest. How about that? Hashtag classic giveaway. Guys, head over to Kaffir Lab in, on Facebook and on Instagram. Be sure to follow them on those two platforms. And down below in the comments selection, be sure to hashtag classic giveaway. Five lucky winners are going to be getting these beautiful vintage VW looking keychains. How awesome is that? Thanks, Cap for Lab. All right, guys, on to the tips. So here we are with the carburetor tip. Guys, take a look at this. This is one of those hybrid carbs, but generally speaking, it's going to be for, you know, most carbs today that you work with on your vintage Volkswagen and the one is if your car still stutters and maybe you went through the seven steps that I mentioned in the video previously um, one other thing you can try is you see there's an here's the idle solenoid here on the side of the carb now sometimes these solenoids are on this side of the carb the right side passenger side okay usually under here so what you can do is slightly crack or loosen this solenoid just like that you get your right wrench here the wrench on this one i don't maybe it looks like a, a 12 or 13 wrench and you crack that just a little bit you don't want to go too loose just enough and you can pull you know snug it by hand and see if that helps with your your idle adjustment and sometimes that gets rid of the notorious uh, flat spot so try that or let's head over to this 69 and you get under here on the passenger side like I was mentioning okay there's the other jet right in there you get in there with your little eight millimeter wrench and try to crack that or you can get in there with maybe like a socket or something just crack it loose try to get in there for you so you can see all right right there's my finger there we go so you crack that jet open it up just a little bit and then snug it back in not too tight though you don't want to go too loose you just don't want gas pouring out of the, the side of your carb crack that and then start hitting the throttle here and then see if you get rid of that notorious flat spot. Now you might have to adjust it while the car is moving. So at least with this uh, head on here, it's either a hex head that you have, or you can put in a flathead screwdriver to also break that free. So that is another tip there to try to get rid of that notorious flat spot that is so common on the Volkswagen engines. All right guys, so we're gonna go to CIP1.com. And I want to show you what they are now offering, which is pretty amazing. So even if you just come up to the top uh, search bar here and just type in BBT. And they're going to give you some of the sheet metal and some of the uh, parts that 
are offered now. Uh, uh, BBT's out of Belgium, they've been around for a while, and they really have some quality parts. Um, they've got split bumpers now. Um, they've had those, I've seen those for quite a bit. Um, they even have the right running board mat, exact reproduction running board mat. So if anybody wants that, so if you buy, say, the running boards, the German running boards, either from Wolfsburg West or, or even CIP1, and you can get the mat uh, to actually, that has the right, the correct ribbing on it and the pattern. So that's pretty cool. But the big thing I'm really liking is this. Excellent BBT reproduction fenders now for, look at this, 1946 to 52. So you're talking split window era. How cool is this? Really, really nice. And from what I hear, the metal is fantastic. The gauge, the thickness, it's, def it's dead on to the original. They even have the fenders with the correct horn grill as well. And they even have the wire conduit tubes as well. If you can see that, how, how nice. Because we used to have to buy aftermarket fenders and then weld these on. So now they already come with the fender. And they also have the fenders up until 1959. So, you know, 50s Beetles had a the right curvature around the headlight. There's a curve, a dimple, so to speak, that goes around the headlight area on the bucket. And many aftermarket fenders that you would buy just were not uh, mimicking that line correctly. So there you have it, guys, BBT fenders and excellent reproduction quality. You're probably gonna be spending upwards of around $1,000 if you got, if you have to buy two fenders. The other alternative, if you don't wanna use BBT, right now they are on pre-order on CIP1.com. If you don't wanna go through CIP1, the other alternative to have perfect reproduction fenders is to go to classicfab.com. This is the green stuff. They've been around a while. This is Gerson. And um, I bought material from them and it is uh, really high quality stuff as well. So um, let's go to Beetle. And they are reproducing these fenders as well. Basically the same quality guys, but look at their prices as well so if you want a split window or an oval front fender a pair they're 1150 so you're over a thousand dollars shipping included so you might be getting a little bit cheaper from cip1 um they also have split window beetle which actually is remarkably cheaper the right side front fender split beetle 500 he's got for well for for one this 1150 is for two fenders my bad so, uh, yeah, classicfab.com, guys, uh, basically the same price as CIP1. Uh, so, you know, these are your options today when it comes to the, the best quality fenders that you can get. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you got a little bit of a tip out of the uh, carburetor uh, piece that I did. That's one little thing I forgot to mention to you guys in the seven tips that I did a few weeks ago. And also, CIP1 with BBT and joining up with them and bringing us some really cool fenders. Guys, this is, we live in an amazing time to really restore our Volkswagen because we never had this kind of stuff at our fingertips. And that is only because of the internet and us communicating back and forth so they see where the demand is now. And uh, I think it's fantastic. So, guys, be happy, be healthy, be safe. Go drive your dub, go have fun. And uh, if I don't see you next week, have a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully, we could, you could be with some of your family members uh, through this time. And uh, I wish you guys all the best. If you have any comments, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't, do not forget the Kaffir Lab giveaway. Cl hashtag classic giveaway. And, uh, and please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll be bringing you VW videos like this each and every week. All right, guys. Take care. Uh -huh.